Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Lee from Smart Wrapper, and we create sustainable packaging for cargo shipments. So there's over 9 billion pallets in use around the world to ship goods that you and I see at the store, but we rarely see the plastic shrink wrap attached to these packages. In fact, it's 350 million pounds of plastic waste. Uh, sorry for the images, I think we had some trouble. But that's equivalent to 50,000 elephants weight in plastic every single year. That's 4.5 billion pounds of petroleum and 2 billion kilograms of CO2. What we're creating, and shipping demand is only growing because we're buying more and more things, which means goods need to get from port to the store faster and faster. What we're doing is creating a reusable pallet wrap out of fabric. Uh, our image is down right now, but what it is is that you have a pallet that's one meter by one meter by one meter, and you're putting a pallet cover over it with one tightening point in order to uh, have better ease of use. It, that means we're able to reduce per use cost by 50%. So it's rated for 200 reuses at $120 retail. And a plastic wrap it uh, costs a dollar each use. Uh, so that's $200, so we're saving about half of the cost. We're able to reduce the wasted materials by 50%, petroleum use by 95%, and CO2 use by 80%. Uh, our value proposition is the same ease of use as the uh, better ease of use than the plastic wrap. It takes 90 seconds to apply, but then we're also adding in value added services such as IoT and tracking analytics to get pallet tracking to an individual level, as well as security and padding. And the whole goal in this is to transform pallet wrapping and that plastic waste from a cost center into a, uh, a, a profit or a value creation uh, area. The Dressel market is about $600 million in the U.S. alone. We're targeting closed-loop shipping networks such as Target, Best Buy, DHL, UPS, uh, Pico, and it, the, it scales all the way up to $12 billion in terms of plastic shrink wrap expenses every single year. In terms of traction, we're the Unleashed winners out of Copenhagen this year, as, and we're planning pilots with Merce, Carlsberg, and Dahlberg uh, coming up in the next six months. Uh, we're looking for $300,000 in seed funding to complete our product and finish our IP and do small production as well as uh, build a sales pipeline. And uh, our team is, uh, I'm the CEO, we have uh, a, wide array of, a wide array of product development, sustainability, and uh, supply chain work and pre uh, previous experiences at Carlsberg and at Maersk. And uh, our advisors is also the same. So thanks. Thank you. It's a great mission and really well pitched, thank you. Um, if the wrappers are to be reused, um, is there any kind of logistical problem with the fact that a lot of the time is it the people sending and packing and the people receiving at the other end not always being um, the same client or the same person? Yeah, so the, the, a lot of the time there, it, those, are, those are open loop networks, so you have uh, companies that are sending products and then shipping it to a customer and that then is being tossed away yes. by what, what I'm mentioning with closed loop systems is your UPSs, your, your FedExes, they're shipping their pallets and those goods from point A to point B, but then those pallets are returning. Are returning, sure. Yeah, so the key feature is our cover is uh, collapsible into, and it's stuffed into a pallet. So as that pallet goes back to the distribution center or warehouse, they're able to collect the pallet covers again. So they're going to driving reuse. Sure, okay, great. How do you go about in selling this? Like, who do you go to? Do you go straight to those guys? Like, the, the Mar you mentioned, obviously, Marisk and, and Carlsberg and those guys. But, like, are those the sort of main customers as well? Or would you go through another sort of cha sales channels? So it is through the shipping companies because this is a pure cost center for them. And it, it's, it's all... Uh, it, yeah, so, so you go through the shipping companies because they are in charge of shipping things from point A to point B and they get paid the gross amount. Yeah, just a, just a quick, quick question about the durability of the, of the product compared to the, uh, uh, the, the current ones. Yeah. Yep, so current, current plastic shred trap is made out of polyethylene, which is one use, and you usually just get a pair of scissors or, 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 a, and, or a knife and just cut it. Or, or our fabric is uh, polypropylene, which is rated for up to 600 re reuses, and we're only targeting at 200 reuses right now to get to the economics of saving them half already. Yeah, but like during the transportation, is it like as durable or...? It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's as durable, and mm. re with the plastic shrink wrap, it actually doesn't protect anything. It's purely to make sure that the cartons and boxes don't fall off. Thank you. Thank you.